kwamba hamsikizani amongee vizuri mko na disagreement mshaachana ama mko pamoja alafu anakataa gift bro ambia inapiga mafuta anataka kaka yangu ah najua hii ni ile yangu bana na akimbilia kazi hapa na pale bana lakini sasa hiyo kitu ile nioma mazi hata sasa kukiongelelea welcome to bed palace kenya home of quality affordable and luxurious beds we have also diversified to classic sofas visit our showroom in vindigwa kiambu road opposite quickmart as well as roy sambu thika road contact us on 0725 414842 bed palace the ultimate solution to insomnia Hello guys this is Mr. A lot more your senior Udaku reporter and of course a lot more is coming Nico maeneo fulani Niki Cheki maeneo ni ya sita sema mtu wangu leo kwa sababu nikisema nitakuwa nimechoma mtu wangu Niko hapa kupiga story na jamaa ambaye amekuwa akikimbia sana pale kwenye mtandao anaitwa Brighton the PL kitambo alikuwa anaitwa Brighton Creatives I met this guy in 2021 all right kipindi wakati ule hakuwa anajulikana na mtu yote isipokuwa familia yake <laughs> yes squeeze anatesa sana pale kwenye mtandao juzi amepatia msupo wake gari na si gari tu ni Audi Q3 watu wakamchana sana pale online akaenda interview pale tuko watu wakamchana vile vile wakamuita toxic wakamuita mtu akupiga dem yake mambo mingi sana na hii leo tumemtafuta aje tupige story ajibu maswali kwa sababu maswali uliouliza ulio, ni mengi mno mtu wangu Brighton yuko hapa kuja Brighton kuja Brighton tulia tu hapa hivi watu wa kucheki umepiga luku mzee mzee umeoga tuanze pale chini mzee yes kiatu ni Jordan tupande mzee troza ni designer alafu t-shirt ni gani mtu wangu unajionea mwenyewe alafu zoom out gari iko hapa mzee akona Toyota Field mzee tuonyeshe gari mzee ah, namba plate na shida huyu ni Brighton Brighton anajifichi anakula pesa yake huyu we vipi wewe kaka vipi si kula pesa yako wewe definitely kama kawaida kwa ni mimi siaku na mama bro number plate ufichi ah hiyo lazima utafichi ensure you blood and number plate bro ai tumeingia kwa shida mzee tengeneza hii mzee tutaumia mzee pale and of course guys this episode is proudly sponsored by Gradico Properties Africa Limited. Kumbuka, this is Kenya's number one real estate company. Ukitaka kununua shamba nzuri, shamba ambayo iko na value, shamba ambayo unaweza jenga immediately. Karibu pale grade iko. Tuko na Lucky Gardens Kithimani ambayo inaenda na 350,000 Kenya shillings, that is 50 by 100. Na pia kule maeneo ya Malindi, tuko na quarters na pia hekas. Quarters uh, zinakimbia na Uh, 200,000 na pia heka mtu wangu nakimia na 350,000 Kenya shillings. Karibu grade iko piga namba ambayo kwa simu yako. Then we will get you guys sorted kabisa. Inakuwaje mzee? Mimi niko fresh labda wewe bro inakuwaje? Mimi niko vizuri mzee. Nakumbuka tulijuana na wewe 2021 wakati wakati ule na 1000 subscribers. Ulikuwa na 1000 subscribers. Ukaniambia kio kwa siku moja utakuwa mkubwa wewe na ushakuwa sasa. Ukaniambia kioko siku moja utakuwa mkubwa utanifanyia interview mzee. Ndio hiyo hapa sasa. Ah, anapenda, anapenda mzee. Then uh, ah, hey bro, me grow up here. Yeah. You have a, a wife, a kid, you have a car, you have a car. Ah, Mungu ni nani mzee? Mungu abarikiwe sana. Kwa vizuri? Kwa Mwenyezi Mungu, mimi niko yeah. salama. You are happy? Kama kawaida. <laughs> Wanasema wana, wana unapenda kuzungumza Kiswahili sana ingawa wewe ni mkisi. Um, wajua wakati mwingine pale mtu akisikiza Kiswahili ya mtu mm. si lazima aseme kwamba uja mama ametoka wapi. Mm. Labda mimi nimelelewa pale kwingine mm. au utajua. Mm. Uh -huh. Juzi tumefanya interview na mke wako watu wakakuchana sana. Kusema gari ni kipindi, nini? Umehaya gari. Ah, uh, wewe ni toxic, haupendi ule msupa. Mm. Nikasema basi nikutafute. Mm. Ujibu maswali. Maswali ni mengi, uko tayari. Leo niko motoni, tajaribu pala mambo nitaweza wajua. 
as long as unasema ukweli na ukweli utaendelea ama utazidi kwa ukweli pale ta con fresh it mm -hmm. polite kabisa mzee acha tuanze na mambo ya kawaida tu is unajua uh, pia uko na channel mko na couple channel pia ambayo mnapiga kazi pale na wife is a couple content something mko nataka kutoka kitambo ama ni kitu ili come tu um unajua most of the content creators mostly kwanza hao ambao wanafanya loyalty test wanafanya interviews kuna vile ambavyo wakishajulikana pale wanaonelea ni vema pia kuinua familia yao pale kuileta kwa social media unajua pesa nyingine ambayo tunatengeneza pale ni soft mm unaenda unapiga tu content vizuri unangoja tu pesa inaingia kwenye account so ni kuonelea ni vema badala bibi yangu aendelee kushughulika na mambo zingine pale wakati yako idol pale definitely aje hapo tunafanya kazi pamoja ya couple goals hivyo ndivyo sasa tulifikiria na tukakuja into a conclusion tukasema kwamba tukifungua channel ya couple goals tutakuwa na leta unga pale na isha leta ninazidi kuleta mm -hmm. ah nzuri kabisa mzee Uh, let's talk about marriage. Unakaa na ule msupa aitwa NGB, kakuzalia mtoto mrembo sana mzee, I see. Uh, ule mtoto umemuoa. Ni kamu stay umekaa tu. Msha wazazi washajiana. Manake tukiwa kwa interview na yeye, uh, alisema wazazi wako pia wako wana uh, wako wanampenda sana. Nini? Tupe story. Wajua kioko the first thing you have to know ni kwamba wakati ambao mnaanza mapenzi na tuseme kwamba uko kwa umri wa mwa, uh, tuseme kwamba uko na umri wa miaka kidogo tuseme kwamba labda hujafikisha umri wa miaka 18 pale lazima wazazi waingilie kati maana unajua kila mzazi anapenda mtoto wake pale na kila mzazi anataka mtoto wake amuona kifaulu so wakati ule unajua tukianza kujuana na anji ilikuwa alikuwa form 3 ni kitambo sana alikuwa mtoto eh? eh by then i was in campus lakini wajua si kwa namtaka na kimapenzi niliona ni mali safi mimi nikasema kwamba mwanadada kama huyu unajua ukimweka mahali hapo na ukimtunza vizuri bila mapenzi hiyo ambayo unaita ngono sex before what marriage sasa tukasema kwamba mimi nilimwahidi nikamwambia kwamba jamani kama hujamaliza form 4 sitawahi guza hiyo mali alikuwa anakuja kwangu tunacheza tu lakini hakuna siku ambayo niliwahi fanya jambo kama hilo nilikuwa nampa respect awacha bana wallahi wallahi utamuuliza siku moja hata acha bana wallahi mali nimekuja kuguza after nimemaliza form 4 bro ama wewe simkisi okay of course eh so like unajua mtu mzuri ni yule ambaye ukiweka ahadi unahakikisha kwamba umefanikisha lakini kama unasema ahadi yako sasa hivi kesho na hivi unajua haita haita leta shangwe mhm So ule mtoto uko imguza kwa miaka miwili form 3 form 4 si kwa iguza hiyo mali mm. until wakati alimaliza form 4 mimi nikamwendea pala shuleni nikamchukua eh yeah, baadaye alisema ni ule mkujia ukampeleka kwenu eh yeah. nikampeleka kwa gusi kwetu i mean kwako pale ni jenga by then unajua after hiyo outbreak ya corona ilibidi sasa unajua mashule zikafungwa nini nini mm. ikabidi sasa nimejituma kuja kutafuta hustle and the best place ya zile eh, lazango ambazo nilikuwa nazo pale unajua kahela kama 2500 3000 ikabidi sasa nikaonelea ni vema nikimbio pale njenga tukaanza life pale uh, koroni kitufinya tu mdogo mdogo so hapo ndo nilimpata maisha ikaanza tu mdogo mdogo hadi sasa hivi najua Mwenyezi Mungu amezidi kutubariki kitu mm -hmm. perfect Mungu anasaidia kabisa lakini lakini Brighton mm -hmm. You know you guys have been in relationship for quite some time mpaka mshapata mtoto mm -hmm. mshapata mtoto watu at least wanaanza kusema hii couple in the future but watu wana doubt sana na wewe mafans wako mafans wa anji mafans wa watu wengine mm. wanasema kwamba wewe ni toxic sana mm. i mean uh, is it something you are planning to deal with ama ni kitu shaacha because ilitokea pale tuko mm. watu because you accepted mshipigana ni mambo mengi sana how are you planning to do with that right ningependa kuanzia pale nyuma kidogo ni sema kwamba unajua kwa kila familia lazima kuna jambo ambalo linasumbua familia fulani sasa hivi mimi natumai kwamba ama niko na imani kwamba pia uko na kaishu fulani pale lakini kuna vile ambavyo unai handle pale ukiwa na mke wako ah uh, i used to be very toxic bro but uh, kwa sababu najua wakati ambapo mambo yamewekwa mahala fulani pale unapata mahusia kama wewe ni mtu ambao uko na akili timamu mbona usibadili mieneno tangu ile siku ambayo tulienda pale tuko nilipitia comment section pale jamani nikasema ya kwamba if everybody is against me mbona nisibadili njia kidogo 
nijaribu kama ni ishi imetokea pale unajua unafaa kuita mwanamke wako ama bibi yako kando pale unazungumza moja mbili tatu mnakuja kwa suluhisho tangia usiku bro ya so cool tumekuwa tu salama until after ile surprise ya gari bro hapo sasa tena ndo mambo yameanza kuchemka bana mm. so like naweza sema kwamba mambo yako salama siko toxic it's only that nikiona kama kuna issue ambayo shabadilika mbaya sana Nik... you are now a, a good man, man. nikiona like there is a difference yenye inaweza fanya timbers raise natoka mimi naenda kutembea kabisa hiyo mm. sasa ndo remedy mm. Mm. perfect basi nzuri hiyo mm. basi ningependa you make it clear mm. announce it here on this channel kwamba Bright na shabadilika ni mtu mzuri ni mtu ambaye hana vita hana vurugu hana mm. zogozogo hana hana mambo mengi kamera ndio hapo mzee so ladies and gentlemen this is Brighton the PL as you know me very well uh, I'm a different Brighton unajua mambo mengine yapo pale tukiyafanya kwenye mtandao ukija kwa ground mambo mengine nakwanga ni tofauti pale mimi nimependa kusema ningependa kusema kwamba nilikuwa nga violent lakini sasa hivi wajua baada ya yale mambo bana na advisors kadhaa kutoka kwa wa, ma, ma fans pale nilibadili mienendo mienendo bana sasa hivi ama different person lakini sasa najua kioko kitu ambacho labda hiyo si violence kitu ambacho labda inaweza niuma ni sema kwamba nilimbai ya gari bro mimi nikatunza hela for several years bro nikasema nitakuja ku surprise my very 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 beautiful wife nasema kwamba unajua asingekuwa ni yeye bro me honestly singekuwa nimefika mahali ambapo tumefika sasa hivi because alikuwa na simama pale na mimi nikiwa kwenye shida mambo mengi tu yale ambayo alikuwa amekunenea pale unajua yalikuwa ya kweli kabisa so asingekuwa ni yeye in short mimi sasa hii sijui ningekuwa wapi maana unajua kama kawaida ananipanga support na encourage na niambia beb unatumia pesa vibaya kwanza napitia ngem pesa statement yangu bana wakati ambapo nimelala pale saa tisa najua eh hey, pale sasa hivi amefanya nini analala akipata kama kuna message mbaya pale labda ya mpesa nimetumia hela vibaya lazima kesho ni jibu sio ni mkamba bro unakuwa na kesi pale unakuwa na kesi lakini sasa unajua nikimuelezea hii pesa nimeitumia hivi na vile basi kama ilikuwa kwa njia bora hiyo sorry naisha lakini kama ilikuwa kwa njia mbaya namwambia beba i'm sorry atafuta naenda kuitafuta ni nirudishe pale alafu tujue mambo mm. inakoaje mm. yeah. ah perfect mzee napenda hiyo mm. uh, tukiendelea umekuwa mm. kwa relationship for how long miaka kadhaa unaweza sema kwamba since 2019 mm. hapo ndo nilimwona siku ya kwanza pale lakini i never approached her so mimi nilienda kujibonga pale wakati ilifika 2020 bro so that is 4 uh, years uh, sasa hapo hapo ah, tw- ni 3 years 4 eh? years bro oh, kuanzia 2020 kianza mm. 2021 2022 2019 because that was my first when i when i ile kitu ya kwanza kukiona pale sio hilo hiyo terminology au hiyo pia Love at first sight sawa mzee. Kitu kama hiyo sasa. Ah okay. Tukiendelea mm-hmm. miaka mimi mzee si mchezo. Ah uh, how, how does the future look like? I mean ule msichana, ule mtoto wa mtu ule. Mm-hmm. Mama ya mtoto wako hakika. Mm-hmm. Unampangiaje kwa maisha? I mean future ikoaje mzee? Oh, jambo la kwanza ningependa kusema unajua kama unamdhamini mtu unanishua kwamba umejaribu kutengeneza maisha yake mbele ni pale hata kama kuna changamoto ya kwanza ni kwamba mimi nilimwaidi nitasimama na yeye kutoka mwanzo hadi mwisho. Uh, unajua yeye amemaliza form 4, anafaa ku join uh, afanye inaitwa kusia nursing kitu kama hiyo. Anaenda kuwa kadaktari pale bana. Nataka kwenda KMTC. Eh. Kichwa kinyoma pale na nitibu eh? So lazima nitasimama na yeye. Mimi oh, definitely ndo nitakuwa na support kwa kila kitu tuseme school fees na kila kitu. Maana mm. unajua ni bibi yangu na mdhamini ni mtu ambaye ama ni bibi ambaye ni bora zaidi kwa kunizalia mtoto wa kike bana. Unaona vile ni mali safi bro? Anaitwa Viana B. Mali safi sana. Na hii ni nini? Brighton definitely. So Angie B pia Angie Brighton pia. Una vile ananipenda bro? Mtoto wa mkisim, mkisim janja, mkisim janja huyu. Tulikula shida sana kitambo. Baya sana. Sasa bro. Nakumbuka ilikuwa 2020 ile time ulikuwa KNT pale bro uliniomba kumi ukule ndizi unakumbuka nakula ndizi nakumbuka eh jamani Mungu anasaidia lakini ulinipa nilikupea nakumbuka vizuri sana Mungu anasaidia bro situone hivi umetoka mbali mzee 
mzee ningependa tu kuuliza swali ya uchokozi kidogo mm, mafans pale kwa ile kom, kwa ile video tulifanya na NGB kwa ile interview sijui kama umepata time uka, uka read zile comments watu wanasema kupitia kaniambia PL mimi nilimwambia unajua kuna mambo mazito wa mafans sometimes wao wanabonga pale kwenye comment section kumwambia jamani wewe enda upitie pale ile unaona itanibana zaidi jamani wewe make your assumptions alafu tuona vile ambavyo uta approach PL umwambie hivi inafaa kufanywa vina vile mm -hmm. Perfect. People accused you of so many things. Number one, mm -hmm. wale sema kumba how pendu mke wako kabisa. You don't love her. That's a lie, bro. Yo, yo na izasema yu kumba ni wongo mtupu. Wongo wa mchana ambao kila mtu anuona apana. Yo ni wongo. Na mpenda mpinzi wangu zaidi ya kumpenda. Maana, ametenda mambo mengi sana kwenye maisha yangu. Yani amechangia sia mkubwa sana kwa maisha yangu so kwa wale watu ambao labda wanasema ya kwamba mimi simpendi mke wangu bana e na mpenda bana hao ni kama wamechanganyikiwa kidogo pale labda ni sema ya kwamba ule wakati ambao labda unakasirika unakuwa violent kidogo na akakuja kupeana ushuhuda pale ndo naweza sema ya kwamba yeye alikuwa amefanya nini alikuwa amekosea pale kidogo lakini unajua yeye hakukosea maana alinirekebisha singefanya hivyo basi pia angezidi kuwa yule wa kitambo Mm. Perfect. Kile hapo mzee, tuongea na client kidogo. Unajua tuko na lazima tulale usingizi mzuri, lazima tukalie viti vizuri. So let's talk about Bed Palace. What shall we? Bed Palace Kenya is Kenya's number one bed seller ama bed supplier. Tuko located pale Kiamburo Thindigwa na pia tuko pale Roisambu Thick Road. Ukitaka kununua kitanda kizuri ama kiti kizuri ama any household accessory. Ikweni ikuwe ni meza coffee table, ikuwe ni dining equally tv stand anything call the number that is running on your screen then we will get you guys sorted na kila kitu kitakuwa ni shwari kabisa mzee now talk about uh, your new car mm. oh your wife's new car mm. juzi ile surprise mzee i mean uh, kuna watu walipenda kuna watu wali criticize mm. kuna watu walikuwa tuna mixed reaction i mean uh, uh -huh. wewe kama mwanaume mbona ukaamua kufanya vile mzee Bro, uh, I think ni kitu ambayo nitazidi kuizungumzia wakati ambapo tulikuwa chini pale kimaisha. Mimi nilimwaidi mke wangu nikamwambia kwamba by then alikuwa girlfriend unajua sasa hivi ni bibi yangu bro. Kila mtu anajua, wewe unajua, mama kanajua mzazi, baba kanajua. The only thing I haven't done ni kwamba niende nimwekee ring of which tutafanya next year bro. I hope you'll attend. Ndam propose here alafu tutajua mambo mengine atakwaje pale. Alafu nifanye na ile kitu mnaitanga chadhe. Mm. Sasa hivi unaona ngasia ngasia. Si chadhe. Chadhe sasa ni it's a general name. Mm -hmm. Sasa hapo ndo alinifunza. So um ningependa kusema kwamba kwa sababu alichangia pakubwa sana. Mimi nilionea ni vema ni mbaye ama ni mnulia kagari kadogo pale unajua appreciate mtu ambaye amekutendea makuu kwenye maisha ni bora. Laki, lakini sasa shida imetokea pale ambapo bwana najua mimi nimejituma tu mzuri nime save nimemletea kagari kazuri tu. Alafu anaanza kunirudishia na ananiambia ai beba hapana. Mimi sijapenda hiki kitu ambao umefanya nini? Umefanya. Eh mimi nikaondelea kwaomba unajua Uh, ni kitu ambacho watu wengi wanahitaji pale na labda mabwana wa zao hajakuwa that uh, uh, capacity ya kuanulia gari mzuri kama ile labda na mimi nimemfanyia uh, alafu anakataa gift bro ambia inapiga mafuta anataka kakaangu ah unajua yeye ni ile yangu bana na akimbilia kazi hapa na pale bana lakini sasa hiyo kitu ile nioma mazee hata saki kukiongelelea Alisema kwamba mko na disagreement amuongei kwa nyumba unatoka unaenda unarudi usiku mm. true um, unajua kazi lazima ni upige maana yake nisipopiga kazi lazima atalala njaa pale na nilisema kwamba badala ya kukaa violent the best remedy for me kama mazungumzo yamekataa jamani unafanya nini unaondokia kidogo pale so the the, the reason as to why mimi huwa naondokea ni kwamba staki tena mvurutano pale labda upate Piela amemguza amestretch mkono pala itakuwa ni mbaya tena itakuwa ni kama kwamba ile advice ambayo nilikuwa nimepata kutoka kwa mafans pale bana ni kama ilikuwa imeanguka bure na mimi sitaki kitu kama hicho sitaki hilo jambo lisikike tena kwenye social media but we mtu kukataa gift bro eh unataka nini hajakataa hajakataa alisema alisema nataka tu akurudishie na umpe hii ambayo itumii mafuta nyingi najui ni kukataa gift bro Mwana unajua angeniambia wakati ambapo nilikuwa na 
Na muulizi unajua kuna vile ambavyo kama nilikuwa ni, naendelea nazidi kupanga chini ya maji lakini kwa namuuliza wewe unapenda gari gani? Ambia mimi napenda German machines. Nikaonelea ni vyema nichukue Audi badala ya Benz ama Golf. Ito for rings. Mm, nikasema jamani hiyo itakuwa best. Hata mtu akimwona pale bana anasema yenyewe pia ana anapenda mke wake pale. Na hiyo kitu ilichangiwa pakubwa pale ambapo ngile siku ya tuko bana. Hizo mambo Eh, ni semaje inauma lakini itabidi nizee zile comment ambazo nilikuwa nimepitia nime pale na director akapitia zingine mingi sana ni kwamba uh, walikuwa nasema si mdhamini na mimi nikasema sababu na mdhamini wacha ni mfanyie kitu kikubwa ambao labda watu watasema mwenyewe pia ana napenda mke wake nikasema kwamba acha ni mpe kwanza gift ya kwanza na tujui itakuwaaje lakini sasa ikaikataa tena bana anajui na nyuma mm. lakini kwanza wanasema ile gari nika haya ile gari si yako wanasema gari umeomba mm. ufanye tu kipindi wa upate ile attention wanasema ni clout ah uh, kuna mambo mengine pale unajua sisi kama influencers uwezifanya bro sasa kwa mfano nimefanya kipindi nimefanya na hiyo gari kipindi na tuseme kwamba kisha ipatikane na mtu mwingine pale haita make sense because unajua kuna wale watu ambao wanategea tu pia anguke kidogo wapate content unaona watakuwa wanazidi kama nani hapo sisi sema juu unajua watu ni wengi bana watu mimi nasikia kama unazungumzia mtu fulani mimi hamna mtu ambaye nazungumzia maana najua watu wengi content creators ni wengi Kenya mm. mtu mmoja anaweza kuja aseme hey gari niliona na mtu fulani kumbe alikuwa ameomba watazidi kuona na anjibu hiyo gari itazidi kwa yake mm -hmm. kwambie guys if you think hiyo uh, gari ni aka ya jamani <laughs> naweza sema kama mtangoja sana ipotee kwa PL eh kwa familia pia itazidi kuwa pale anjibi atazidi kuwa nayo ama wakati mwingine pale bana nitakuwa nayo kama anjibi ataikataka atakata unajua sasa gari itafanya mambo ya ribike eh, kwa ile sehemu nyingine maana mm. namtegemea sana bana mm. Mm. kuna kuna pale kwa zile comments because uh, there are over 600 comments kuna watu ambao wanasema kwamba Brighton the PL in as much as the car you bought mm uli uli, uli msurprise mke wako ni yake ni yake mm -hmm. wanasema kwamba waoni reason ya wewe kutembea na gari zote mbili na nipata mm -hmm. because kwa comments wanasema wanawaona sg feather estate mnatembea na gari zote mbili i mean na, ni kwa nini mnatembea na, nazo mbili um, unajua kama Mwenyezi Mungu amekubariki bro si si kwamba unafaa kulalia baraka baraka yako tembea nayo maana uki, ukiacha pale nyota yako itakuwa imechukuliwa na mtu mwingine sasa kama jamani inaoma kidogo nyota yangu haitaenda kwa mwingine itazidi kuwa pale kwa familia yangu tu <laughs> nyota yako tembea nayo kama utembei nayo itanyakuliwa na mwingine huo ni usemi wa brighton the pl ni washtuka mzee kiswahili chake hicho <laughs> sawa brighton mimi nilikuwa nataka kuangalia kwa ile kamera One minute talk to kenyans wale ambao wanaamini kwamba ulimenua gari mm -hmm. wale wanasema gari ni cloud mm -hmm. wale wanasema umehaya mm -hmm. wale wanasema mambo mingi najua kama kawaida ya wanadamu pale lazima wapate kuongea ndipo sasa sometimes wapate unga mimi jamani ningependa kuambia kwamba kama mnaona gari ni akaha ya jamani na unatafuta story piga kipindi kabisa ikikupa unga mimi hakuna siku ambayo nitakuja kwa kwa nikwambie mazi unaharibu mali pana iko salama wewe piga kabisa lakini jambo la buzara ni kwamba gari itazidi kuwa ya Anjibi itazidi kuwa ya Brighton itazidi kuniona na hii lafu siku zitaendelea kusonga pale na Mwenyezi Mungu akitujalia watakuwa na tuona na ranges ma range rovers hapo sasa sijui watasema nini tena utazidi kutamba kama kawaida mm -hmm. mambo ni mengi kweli mzee uh, wanasema kwamba Brighton the PL na mke wake NGB ni watu ambao wanapenda kipindi sana watu wanapenda mm -hmm. cloud wanapenda mm -hmm. tu ku trend kila siku mm -hmm. what do you say about that um, kwanza ningependa kuuliza ni watu wa gani wanasema labda swala kama hilo ni content creators ama ma fans ma fans uh, ma fans unajua sometimes hawaelewi mambo ambayo yanafanyika kwenye ground wao wakiona jema fulani amefanya kipindi pale ametafuta kiki mtu mwingine akipata jambo lingine pale wajua anasema hii ni kiki kwa mfano si yule alikuwa amefanya ile na lile ambalo awalielewi lakini kama ni kiki jamani mbona utazame kiki chilia kabisa tafuta kitu legit kitazame basi mm -hmm. kama ni kiki chana nao kabisa ah, napenda hiyo mzee 
kama ni kiki wachana na don't waste your time mm-hmm. tafuta vitu zingine ambazo zina make sense that's what you say exactly perfect brighton the pl second bond lini mzee second bond um umeuliza nini nauliza hivi mkisi wa pili tunapata lini <laughs> ngoja kwanza bibi asome bro sina haraka yeah. ningepata ma twins kama wewe yeah. Ninge settle kabisa kabisa lakini kwa sasa mimi nataka nimpe muda ambao uh, ni wa kusoma pale kisha maliza shule pale apate labda tusema ajira ndo tafikiria kama tutatafuta mtoto mwingine lakini Mwenyezi Mungu akimleta sasa hivi mimi nani nikatai bro nitazidi nitazidi nita, nita kuwapenda wote watu wangu najua damu yako bro ni nzito kuliko ya mwingine hapa pale sivyo ndio nasema sasa nitazidi kuwapenda lakini Mwenyezi Mungu akitujalia bado salama tu Mm-hmm. Tukimalizia ya mwisho sasa. Ah, uh, NGB alisema kwamba hamsikizani, amongee vizuri mko na disagreement. Mshaachana ama mko pamoja? Eh, nani anaezaacha mali safi kama ile bro? Disagreement nimekuambia ni kwamba anakata gari ambao nilikuwa nimemgift. Anasema nataka aka ka, kadude. Na mimi sitaki atembele yake kama nako najua Yo sasa ndio inachangia zaidi watu wakimuona pale labda na hii wanasema hiyo gari ilikuwa ya kaa haya eh alikuwa anatafuta kipindi tu hmm? ambayo ni uongo kabisa unajua i mean kifanya kitu ni hivyo mm-hmm. na mbona basi usimwekea mafuta mafuta nilimwekea kwanza ile siku si, si, natumai uliangalia nilimpa kahela hata kama kalikuwa kadogo akaanza ngapi 34000 ama ilikuwa ngapi 34 37 kitu kama hicho yeah. pale um 36 36 Nilimpa hela bro. Uh, na nikakwambia full tank. Anasema inakunywa sana. Of course inakunywa. Unajua inakunywa na yeye unajua ni mtu wa speed. Yeye yeah, anaeka taru baba na anaeka sport. Anataka kisikia ile sauti. Gari ndio iko hivyo. Mm-mm. Kuna ya kawaida, kuna ya drive. Sasa yeye yeah, anaguza mpaka nafika kwa light ice yes, bana. Anataka aone tu vumbi kipepea. Lakini sasa hivi unajua haitabidi sasa tumejipanga sisi wote uh, kwa kuchangia pale mafuta. Aya pata ndio posa tuone mambo itakuwaaje lakini natumai ya kwamba ni gari yako anataka ataka gari ndogo tu e, anasema hiyo gari hapana okay mm. perfect basi ndio 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 ndo, ushasema Brighton do you feel like uh, wewe na mke wako umexpose uh, your private life kwa public unajua mambo mengine ningependa kusema kwamba ukiyafanya yanakuanga na outcome maybe positive ama negative kuna kuna wale ambao wanachukulia labda mambo mengine yamekuwa kwa ubaya lakini mimi ningependa kusema kwamba yale mambo ambayo labda aliongea pale tuko labda aliongea kwako pale kuna wale wanachukulia wana kwa njia ubaya lakini mimi naona yamenisaidia mengine pale unajua ukipata mahusia kutoka kwa watu pale yeah. na ukiachukua kama ni mahusia mazuri yanakusaidia kwenye maisha kwa mfano ningependa kusema kwamba nilikuwa violent sai bro mimi ni mpole bana anje anaweza nipiga hey babe unaona hey, ile utoke tu uende na nitoke niende nimekuambia the best remedy for my wife is nikiwa natumeanza kusumbuana tu kidogo pale mimi nikimondokea napiga sorry na majama wengine pale usiku inaingia na rudi pale alafu unajua ikifika sehemu nyingine pale hiyo nayo inakuwa fresh tu mhm nzuri hiyo napenda sana mzee one minute talk to your fans guys mazee kwa wale ambao mnazidi kutuombea mabaya pale labda tuachane hamna siku ambayo hilo jambo litatendeka mwana mimi namdhamini mpenzi wangu na mpenda bibi yangu na yeye ananipenda hata kama ulisikia alisema mambo mengine pale alisema kwamba pia ananipenda na anatumai kwamba sisi wote tutaishi maisha ambayo ni marefu mpaka kifu ifanya nini tutenganishe sasa mimi nani nimwangushe bro niko pale nitasimama na ye mpaka wakati ambapo Mungu labda ataamua kuchukua mmoja wetu ndipo tujue maisha yataendelea vipi lakini kwa sasa nampenda ni bibi yangu na nitazidi kumpenda Nam. Perfect. Nashukuru sana. Thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate na pia tutakutafuta siku nyingine. Ah uh, tu tuzungumze mambo mengi. You know, hii town yetu. Eh mimi ni boy wa town, wewe ni boy wa town. Kwa hivyo lazima tuishi town. Au sio? Yes. So guys, nilikuwa nikipiga story na Brighton the PL. Anaitwa babake Viana. Ah uh, B uh, the boyfriend ama the husband to Angie B. Channel ya mzee mtoto wa mkamba pale. Yes, jina langu ni Nicholas Kioko. Kitaka unaweza niita senior Daku reporter ama Mr. Alot Mona nimeondoka bana. <laughs>